Good morning, guys. It is 10 to 5 in the morning. And I'm currently questioning my life decisions, but it is time for a car boot. I am heading to a car boot today with my mum and my sister, Abby. And yeah, we're going to be packing up the car and we're going to be taking our table and we're going to be selling our stuff today. Car boots are always such an early start. I sometimes am like, why am I doing this? I don't get it. Um, but yeah, they usually, you usually have to like get there for like a minimum six, six, seven. Um, so yeah, the earlier you can get there, the better basically. Um, not wearing anything too exciting, so I won't really give you an outfit of the day. Just my comfy pants, my hoodie. I am debating whether to put makeup on or not. I wouldn't usually, but because I'm filming a video for you guys, I thought maybe I might. But I don't know. I just can't really be bothered to be honest. Like, face is looking a little bit puffy now, just because I've just woken up and it's like ten to five, ten to five in the morning. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna finish up sort my bags out and then I'll decide what the makeup but basically my mum has the majority of stuff I just have one big bag of like my boyfriend's cl clothing that he doesn't want want anymore and um, like a tattoo gun some random stuff um so I'm just taking that one but the majority of stuff is coming from my mum and then I'm obviously going to take you guys on a little tour around the car route so yeah look out for that okay so ignoring the hoover and the washing this is my bag <laughs> It is full to the brim of random stuff, bits and bobs. Then I do also have this one, oh, which is like an Airman Outfitters one. And it's just got some electronics in and stuff like that. So that is it. We are ready to go. Um, I think I need like a cup of tea or something. I'm honestly, I look so puffy. Hey guys, we have our little setup. This is what it's looking like. Hi. Hi, Mum. <laughs> I'm very tired. It's not very well organised, but this is all my mum's stuff as well. My stuff is in here. Hey guys, here's Abby. Hello, everybody. Got a cup of tea? Abby's being the boss, bossing us around, telling us where to put everything. Now we're getting down to the actual shopping at the car boot. First off, I loved this stall. They had so many colourful home decor pieces. And I'm actually on the hunt for some art to go above my bed. So I did see these three canvases. And I first off thought like, oh yeah, maybe they could work. But actually, they weren't as modern as I probably would have liked them. Um, so I left them behind. Then moved over to another stall. And to be honest, there was a lot of clothing in this car boot. And it kind of... Not shocked me because I knew that there would be clothing, but I just had this overwhelming feeling of like, oh my God, we are producing so much clothing. I don't know why, it just came over me. I know that we are, but it's just like kind of scary to see so much clothing at a car boot. It's usually more like home decor. Um, but anyway, I moved over to this store and this woman had so many gorgeous bags, guys. I don't know what it is. I always get loads of bags at car boots. There are just so many cool ones and they're so cheap. They're like a pound 50p. So I just can't leave them behind because I know that you won't get them that price in the charity shop. So this woman was so kind and she gave me like a discount on a few of the bags, which I'll tell you about later on. Um, but yeah, she had so many good ones. Then I was looking at some of her clothing. She had this really nice little mesh top, which I couldn't decide if it was cool or not. Um, I was indecisive on that one. This is me and my mum having a look at more bags that the woman had. She had so many good ones hanging up and more on the floor as well. Just such a cool variety of bags. Like she had outdoorsy ones, then she had like little cool handbags. So yeah, I was very impressed with this selection. Thank you. 
Okay, then we started to wander again and then I was looking at like a few more books because I do have a lot of books already but I can never resist a book, especially a car boost because they're usually like 50p. So if you can find ones that you've been wanting to read then this is really handy. Looking at another rail here, it was so good that everybody had their own rails because it actually does make shopping for clothing a lot easier rather than it just being on the floor. But I will say it was a particularly windy day, so everybody's rails kept falling over, ours included, so that was a bit of a nightmare. There were some people who were definitely more prepared than others, um, and we were probably not in the prepared group because some people bought like bricks to stop their rails from falling over which i thought was such a great idea so yeah i'll definitely be doing that next time if we do another one um but i liked how these had all of their stuff in like little baskets that was also a good idea some lovely glassware that i know my sister abby would enjoy more gorgeous bags i am telling you if you like nice bags and you want some cool ones for a cheap price go to a car boot there are so many on offer this stall had so many gorgeous home decor bits and bobs like i just like getting random bits and bobs but i'm at a limit now with my house like i feel like i can't really put any more in it otherwise it's just kind of going to look a little bit cluttered but i loved all of the stuff on this table it was definitely my style very like rustic boho farmhouse chic kind of Next up, I saw these red sandals and honestly, looking back, I regret not getting these. I think they were a size five, but I am kind of like a four and a half, so I definitely should have got them. They were brand new and they were only two pound. So as well as lots of home and decor and clothing, you will also find a few stores at car boots that kind of sell like toiletries, like toilet roll or shampoo conditioners or plants. There are a lot of stores that sell just plants. It's a bit random. I kind of see it as a way of like it's their full time business potentially. And um, but yeah, you will also see stores like that. And then this guy, I was looking at his one pound stuff on the floor. I was mainly hoping to find some Levi jeans because I'm actually on the hunt for some at the moment. But they were all like different designers. They weren't Levi. They were designers that I don't really like. My mum did actually manage to pick up a lot of good items. She loves a woolly cardigan, so when we stumbled across these on the floor, she was, of course, in her element. So we picked out a few of them for her, um, and then we carried on a little shopping experience. This is about the point in the day where we were back at our stall and then it was my turn. We kind of took it in turns, like I think Abby had a nap at some point. But here's me just saving people and yeah, chilling. I then went back out with Abby and first stall that we went to, Abby found this gorgeous black jumpsuit, which she adores. She actually is wearing it quite a lot at the moment. So that was a great find. Um, I went to this woman on the end because she had so many nice, like unique pieces, which I was a big fan of. Um, lots of like cool home decor, magazine holders, etc. Kitchen bits and bobs. And then of course, more handbags.
And then we wrapped up the day and we headed home. It's time for a haul and guys I'm very excited for this haul. I feel like this is probably the biggest haul I've had in a very long time. So it's exciting. Buckle in, get ready. I'm going to start the haul with two items that I didn't actually get from the car boot but I did pick them up recently. The first one I actually got today. I went for like a little walk and just popped into the charity shops. It wasn't like anything worth, worth filming. Um, but yeah, I picked up this skirt. I tried it on and I was really proud of myself because sometimes I'm quite lazy and I don't try things on, even though you always should. Um, but yeah, I tried it on and I just really liked how it looked. But it's this black kind of wraparound skirt. It's originally from Gap and it was 4 dollars size small and yeah i just liked it because it's kind of got like a sporty vibe to it um it would look really nice with birkenstocks which i wear all the time love the little tie around and i've not been feeling the most body confident at the moment so i'm kind of working on it to be honest so a wraparound skirt i think is really great when you're feeling like a little bit more self-conscious about your stomach and you want to wear something that is comfy not too tight I do also have a black silk skirt, but I won't lie, I just don't really like it that much. I don't know, it's got like a weird split on the side of it, so I think I might sell that on Vinted. So this is probably going to replace that in a way. It's not very dressy, but you could definitely make it dressy. So yes, this I got from an Oxfam shop, and yes, I'm very happy with it. I'm glad I tried it on because I was going to leave it behind because I just couldn't tell how it would look on. Um, but I'm glad I tried it on because I do really like it, and I'm glad that it's mine. Okay, next up, I recently picked up something from Vinted and I just felt like I really liked the whole shell necklace vibe and I've seen a lot of shell earrings on Pinterest lately. So I wanted to get my hands on a pair of gold kind of shell inspired earrings. So I instantly went to Vinted, of course, and I found these. Guys, how, how do I even show you this? But how gorgeous are these? Like, honestly? what a vibe i just love them but yeah i just kind of like i know we're coming to the end of summer so technically like i didn't really need them but i do have a few little events coming up in september a few like birthday parties and house gatherings and stuff like that i feel like the older i get the more like it's more of like a house gathering than like a night out but yeah i just thought that these would be quite nice for like a basic outfit so like some jeans um oh god they are fabulous i definitely always like to be like a bit more casual and i think sometimes what i'm learning is sometimes casual doesn't portray well on social media but i'm a casual girl so that's what you're getting but yes these are so fun and i think i got them for like three pounds so an absolute bargain on holiday they would be so nice as well like with like a beachy dress and also they're not heavy like they don't feel too heavy they feel like really light so that's kind of what you want because you don't want to feel like your ears are being like pulled down um even though they are quite big so yeah okay my original earrings are back in and we're now going to move over to everything i got from the car boot the first thing i picked up from the car boot was this little beauty this i originally thought guys was a soap dispenser it turns out it is not a soap dispenser it is actually for watering your plants so um i need to figure out what i'm gonna do with it i don't really like to water my plants with this i prefer to just like add water to the soil directly i feel like sometimes when you spray the leaves um it can cause some diseases on your plants like don't quote me on that but i found that in the past so yeah i personally don't like to use these on my plants i did think it was for soap but maybe i can use it for soap i don't know i'll find a reason but i just thought the bottle in itself was really nice it was only two pound and it was actually from the stall next to our stall it was this really lovely guy um who was on his own and yeah i was like i really like that on your stall and he was like you can have it for two pounds and i was like okay thank you next up you may have heard me mention about the stall that had so many good bags and no surprise i got a lot of good bags so the first one was this brown weaving i don't know how you pronounce this or describe it but it's like a weaved bag and this is so gorgeous guys i just love it it has got a little bit of a pull here let's put that back down but yeah i just saw it and i was like that is just giving me all the vibes that i want 
I can imagine wearing this, maybe it's like a red dress or like a red top, like brown and red together is so underrated. And the main reason why I love these bags is because obviously I work for myself, so I'm always taking my laptop everywhere I go. Um, and these are just perfect laptop bags. Like the laptop just slits in, it's got a little button on it, and it's super lightweight and just like good to go. Let me try and show you. I mean, look at that. It is divine. I am so happy with that. So I got this for only a pound, which is just a bargain. Speaking of bags, I also from the same stall got this little backpack. And now I don't know what I'm thinking about this. I can't decide. At the moment, I was like, yes, love that. I think my sister Abby would prefer it more than me, but it is a gorgeous backpack. It just needs a little bit of a, like a white down or a wash of some sort. But I do love the colouring. I think it's definitely giving like a farmer um barber vibes like that is definitely the vibe it's giving off i don't know if this brand is a good brand trunk and co i might have to do a google on that one but this was also only a pound um it's got like the little strap on the back and i guess like if i was going on like a little hike or something this would be like the perfect backpack to take carrying on and finishing our bags we have the best one save till last and this amazing kind of like beach rattan inspired bag guys i saw this and i was like that would be so gorgeous with a white long dress and some like brown sandals like that was the vibe it was instantly giving off again another perfect bag for my laptop it has like a little zip on the top and this is what it looks like inside it's got like a little pocket here and yes, you might have guessed already, but this was only a pound. This is definitely my favourite one that I got on that day. Um, I just love the strap of it as well. I just think it's so gorgeous. And I'm just obsessed with bags. Like, I'm not allowed to buy any more because I just have too many. But this one, gorgeous. Okay, so I got one more item and it was this jumper. And you might be able to tell by the front of it where I'm wanting to go on a holiday next because this is the jumper that I picked up. Yes, guys, I want to go to New York. It has been on my list for so long. Like, it's always on everybody's list, but I don't know what it is. I'm just craving it more than ever lately. So I'm currently looking into going to New York and you better believe I'll be wearing this on the plane over to New York. And I don't care if people think it's cringy or whatever, or like so obvious. I don't care, I love it. This is gonna help me manifest my trip to New York and I cannot wait. This was only 50p and I saw it on the stall like opposite our stall and I remember like when I was working our stall, I kept saying to myself like, oh, if somebody doesn't buy that jumper by the end of today, I'm gonna go and get it. And we had like an hour left and it was still there and I was like, I need it. So yeah, my mum went over for me and they gave it to her 50p and I was so happy. So it just needs to go in the wash one time and then it'll be perfect. But honestly, couldn't have got a better jumper. I am thrilled with this. Okay, so that is everything that I picked up on my car boot trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below which find was your favourite in today's haul. And honestly, I'm so happy with everything that I've gotten. I feel like I have a new lease of life when it comes to like styling and fashion at the moment. So I'm really embracing it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys lots and I will see you next Thursday for a brand new video.